Hey everyone, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Today we're talking about a brand new family I've never spoken about before, the Bram Fam or the Brampty on TikTok. Now a video has come up where a, I don't know if it's a child psychologist or something like that, has dismantled one of her videos where she's spraying water on her kid's head to get a reaction. I've never heard about these people before. And then I started going down their little YouTube tunnel and uh, oh wow. Like TikTok is full of disgusting people. If you're this trashy in a 30 second video, dang. TikTok hits different and they're crazy. So, but they've also got a YouTube channel, very successful one. And we're gonna go through it together today, introducing you to the Brampty family. The Brampty fam. <laughs> Let's go. If you didn't know who the Bram fam was, here you are. They have 2.7 million subscribers. They have 2.7 million subscribers. Yeah, you heard that right. 678 million views just on YouTube alone. That's a lot of money. They've been around since 2014. Um, their videos are garbage. If you look through, if you sort by, and I always sort by most popular because I want to see what people are, what brought them all their attention. It's, did a ghost push her on the swing? And I can tell you now without watching the video, no, a ghost did not push her on the swing. Uh, our puppy got hit by a car. Dad saves baby from drowning. Mother abandons little girl inside store. Dad saves baby from rolling into freezing lake. Like it's, these people are trash. They're just trashy. I don't know her whole story. Obviously, you guys know that about me. I don't know everything. But it says, welcome to our channel. Our videos will show you the real life of a young married couple of three beautiful yet crazy children. From laughter to fights, blah, blah, blah. Um, sort by newest. Something tells me they're going to have a baby soon. Yeah, I took a pregnancy test 11 days ago. Husband loses a very serious bet. We think baby number four is on the way. They're just, it's clickbait. They don't know. They're just saying we think there might be the thing. Took a pregnancy test. I mean, it's 11 days ago. Something tells me if it was a positive pregnancy test, there would have been a video to follow up. So they're just clickbaiting pregnancy, which, because it makes big money. So they'll even fake getting pregnant to make money. Okay. But that's not what really drew me to them. It's this guy's video here. And let me see if I can get this going for you here. So this is a this is a guy named Preschool Therapy, Ryan Allen. And this video actually really impressed me the way he did it. Obviously, I can be a little bit more uh, of a hammer when I do videos like this. And I appreciate the softer side. Like, I don't know if you mom Uncharted and a couple of those others. They're really good at this. And I don't claim to be as good as them. I just claim to snark the shit out of them because... I snark to bring awareness. So I have a little bit of a different angle. Um, so I really appreciate these people who can do this and bring attention to this. I didn't know about the Bram fam until I saw this video, but let's watch it together. This is an example of how we can have a good intention of being playful and fun with our kids and how it can turn problematic just like that. And okay. So before he said that, spray, the, the, the TikTok he's talking about is uh, spraying my toddler's hair until he says something. It's a challenge and it's stupid. Stop doing challenges on TikTok. You're dumb, especially when your kids are holding the phone while you dance like a stripper behind them. Don't do that one. And of course, did she do it? Of course she did it. We'll show you in a minute. But I like what he said here. Well, how we can have a good intention of being playful and fun with our kids and how it can turn problematic just like that. And so this is why I like what he said there. He's like, look, I, I, he understood that their intentions weren't to be angry or weren't to be disgusting, but they just, by default, are disgusting and they don't realize it. But let's continue. And for what? Social media views and likes. That's right, buddy. Buddy, play. What happened? He indirectly asked you to stop. We should be noting here that he doesn't like it. Yeah. You so the, the challenge was spraying my kids here until he says something. The kid said something and she stopped and she didn't stop. She kept doing it. She kept laughing. And he's like, look, he indirectly told you to stop. Regardless of the challenge itself, which is spraying until they say something and he said something and you didn't stop. You're wedding me, mommy. Okay, here and she's we just can laughing her head off. Note the distress in their voice, and we should consider that maybe we went too far and should pull back. Benefit of the doubt, maybe it wasn't direct enough and you missed it. No, no, I'm not going to give her the benefit of the doubt. She heard it. She's laughing. She knows that this is giving him distress. He doesn't like it, and she continues. Stop okay. it. They clearly asked you to stop there. So this is the point where we need to respect their words and let the bit go. You love me. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's crying clearly upset you're laughing at him and you're teaching him that his voice doesn't matter sorry sorry Papa. you're not sorry about anything you're not sorry. sorry five times he's now asked you to stop and you continue doing it and laughing and giving meaningless apologies and now we see helplessness unbelievable and she's just laughing 
I don't care if you guys think that these 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 TikTok and this is the argument I get so many times. They love their kids. Nobody who loves their kids ever does something like this to their child. I've told you this many times. And, and it's something I've learned over the time and as a parent that we decided to do as parents that when our kids, like, let's say I'm tickling my son. I love tickling Weston. Okay. If he says, daddy, stop tickling me. What does daddy do? He stops tickling because I want Weston to know that when he says he is done with something, he has the autonomy to tell me that he's done with that thing. And I will stop. And it's a lesson I've learned. I said, and he, and he knows that when I say, when he says stop, I will stop. Okay. That's just a small thing, Right. You're teaching your kid that his voice matters not. That doesn't matter. Just a joke. It's for prank. Just keeps going. And he's crying. Just in case you missed it, that was them quietly crying to themselves, giving up, learning that their voice means absolutely nothing. Parents, we have to stop doing this to our kids. And social media, all social media, needs to have child exploitation rules that protect children. Thank the Lord. Amen. To Ryan Allen, everybody go sub to Preschool Therapy on TikTok. Make sure you follow him. That was a very well put together video. And the kid, what hit me really hard there was the giving up of the kid at the end. And I wrote, thank you for doing this video. I'll be covering it in my next video. You're very good. But what, what triggers me on this, especially from coming from, obviously, yes, I come from trauma. Some people think that because I come from this type of trauma, from a bad mother, that it disqualifies me from being able to have a voice on this topic disqualifies me. Not that my lived experience should actually mean something that actually carries more weight than people that have never had this lived experience. So you're dumb and I hate you for saying all that stupid shit. So, um, Ryan Allen says a voice, a child's voice is more important than views. Amen. But they don't see that. This isn't the first time she was rude. Same boy. She made sit down and force him to watch those scary videos. Oh, is this the family that made him sit down because he heard his sister and they put that scary video up? That's them. Oh my God. The video was removed for violation. Look how many videos they do too. Spiritual ritual prank to their kids. Moving teddy bear prank on Balcom Levy. They ran away for help. Moving teddy bear prank. She cries. The biggest scare of our lives. These people are disgusting. They just prank. These kids, these, these, these people are like, they're, they're hurting their kids. They're literally hurting their kids and they don't seem to care. So this, this, this person named T says, woo, let me get off sensitive talk. You're a douche T. Brampty at Bram is a great mother. Back up fool. Melody Garman says, Hey, Melody, you're dumb and you should feel bad about being dumb because you're dumb. And then people would stand up again. I like this because he's, he's bringing logic to the argument. He's not snarking, which is great. That's for me to do, but he, you cannot argue with this guy's logic in this, in this case whatsoever. She does stuff to him all the time. It's awful. I'm so sad for him. These mom, these videos make me cry. Mom uncharted duetted this. I'm following you because of this video. Uh, yes, the water isn't hurting him. A loved one ignoring his boundaries is exactly. Yes. That's a really good one. Ryan said that the water doesn't hurt the kid, but a loved one ignoring your boundaries is a big deal. Those kids now know that they can't say anything. They don't think their voice is heard. That's why when your kid says stop or don't do something, you should listen. I mean, unless it's like, you know, take your medicine and there's, there's obviously certain things, but if you are doing, if you're causing distress to your child for whatever, and tickling can be distressful, anything, pranking, whatever, tricking them, tr making them think things, that's distress for your kid. And this one says, I love how her caption says until he says something, but then she doesn't stop. Yep. She's got at least three videos where she makes that little boy cry for laughs. Yeah. And more. We just saw that. His little sobs break my heart. That was triggering. They're, these people are not funny. These people are disgusting exploiters. Like, okay, we hate you. Nobody likes you. You're dumb. But she's very, she's a thirst trap. She wants to be like, look at me, look at me, look at me. She's all about her. She's obviously freaking crazily narcissistic in every single way and uses her kids. Like this talent, this challenge right here makes me so mad. This challenge here where they get their kid to hold up a ring light and the camera as their tripod. This is, this is a challenge that should not be a challenge. Don't do this with your kids. Don't ever do this. I judge you. I think you're terrible. This woman is trash. Her husband is trash. Okay, so I wanted to show you that and on Instagram on TikTok story they have 3.5 million followers and most of their viral videos are them just pranking their children and they're a bunch of assholes. So let's look at this video quickly that I found on their YouTube channel. These ones I find give us a lot of insight when they answer questions, they talk about things that are going on in their life. All I know right now that these people are trashy and that they will prank their children and will hurt their kids for views. Does it sound like someone? LeBrantz? LeBrantz? Does it sound like someone? Okay. Hi, I'm Bramty. I'm Lewis. I'm Penelope. Hi, I love you. I'm Booker. Hey guys, and welcome to 10 Days of Christmas with the Bram Bam.
I hate you already. And mullets. Not ever once. Okay? Let that shit die in the 80s. Look at that guy's face right there. He doesn't like her. Instantly, I already know. He hates this woman. So, guys, you might be like, wait, what is going on right now, guys? What are you talking about? Well, guys, we decided to do... Take a drink every time she says, guys. 10 days of Vlogmas. So you heard that right. We're doing 10 straight days of uploading and 10 straight days of giving. Okay, cool, man. This guy definitely has pointy white shoes, like a snakeskin belt. Absolutely, like, shaves his chest and his back and his ass and his legs and his ass crack. He absolutely wears way too much cologne to just go to the corner store. He listens to, like, Vanessa Carlton on repeat. Diddly diddly do. Making my way downtown. He calls everybody bro, even his mom. The clouds. Bro, it's raining, bro. Just bro for everything. Like the dog is bro. The banana, he just said, bro, potassium. That's him. Anyways, we're trying to make up for like not uploading most of December. And we Thanks. We couldn't handle 31 days of uploading like our like. Just to be straight up. Days. So we decided to do 10 days of Vlogmas instead. So these Okay, no one cares there, weirdo face lips. 10 days are gonna be leading all the way up to Christmas. So it is perfect. We're excited. And we have a lot going on that we're gonna be showing you guys. A lot of fun content, a lot of the kids, Juni, us, just like everything that you guys love. And we're gonna be giving it to you guys for 10 days straight. So if you're not drunk by time now, because she said guys like a million times, you're you'd be dead. You're dead. Turn on your, your post, post notifications. notifications. Subscribe. First, you have to subscribe. No, don't. Order to be don't. Able to do that. And be ready to comment down below when we start announcing what the giveaways are at the end of every video. Because we're going to be doing giveaways. Next. Because we're going to be this little bandana, little elf face. So you guys remember when we uh, bought this really, really, really old wow. crappy trailer and mm -hmm. we decided to like flip it and sell it. Um, We have a lot to tell you about that. So we're going to head over there. And we're gonna explain to you what is going on with that because if you guys are wondering, has it sold? No. And there's a reason. Probably because it's a piece of shit. In behind it, but we're gonna explain when we get there. All right, let's go. Please, uh -huh. let's go. <laughs> this guy. Wow. He definitely loves his mom, though, right? He's probably got a really good relationship with his mom, but his mom hates her. Like everybody in his family hates her. And I don't even know them at all. All right, guys, so we're here at the train. Why are you squinting like that? What are you doing right now, bro? Why do you look like that? He called her bro! He just said bro! So we're here, we're at the trailer, and we're gonna explain to you what we're doing right now. Um, are you? Thanks. So as you can see, there's furniture here, and you might be wondering, like, why is it full of furniture? And that is because- I'm not wondering. This is a trailer? Oh, it's like a trailer, not like a- you don't tow it. It's like one of those, like, double wides. This we are not selling it anymore. Okay, so long story short, we bought this place as an investment. As you guys know. It was a uh, good flip for us. We're gonna, you know. Again, this content is likely directed towards children, right? They have kids, they're exploring their kids. Kids watch this. What are you doing? Remodel it, flip it, sell it, make some money, and that's it. But. What the f What are you doing? Um, We had a little situation. Did she just fart? She just farted. I'm not kidding. I'm rewinding that. It was a uh, good flip for us. We're going to, you know, remodel it, flip it, sell it. So I'm just throwing out a guess here. Teen mom. Make some money and that's it. But um, we had a little situation. She, I did not put that sound effect in. She farted on him in a video. Ew. Like when you hate somebody, all that shit's worse. <laughs> Annoying, bro. This guy is a he's a big boy. Like he looks like he was six foot, six foot, big boy, 210 pounds. And she just pushes him around and she just hit him. It looks like he is the pushover. He is she runs the show. He's just like there. So during the time that this house was in the market, you know, after it was completely remodeled, we were trying to get a bag. We were about to get that bag. We had a bunch of offers Hello? Like, people yeah. coming through. But some people want to act up and have to Somebody had to come over here for a bit and what? <laughs> so, so I came here for a little bit and, and we took it off the market. Oh. A little bit of tea there. He left to stay there by himself. That's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. You have been known to be wrong a time or two, but I think I agree with you. I think 
There's shittery afoot. Throughout the market, even though we had offers, all this stuff, whatever, whatever, you know, life happens. Whatever. And so now... You're nasty, whatever your name is. I don't like you. You're trash. We did actually decided recently that... What the heck? Why are you... That we're not going to sell it. 100% teen mom. 100%. More, we're actually going to make it a Airbnb. Airbnb. Okay, so... So... Hmm. Also known as the place he goes when he needs to get away from this person. Let him talk. So we moved out and we had all this furniture laying around. We're like we gotta sell it, we gotta do this, this and So that. we had just put two and two together, right? We had a empty, remodeled home and a bunch of extra furniture that couldn't fit in an apartment. And during the time we were like, okay, we need to get this place back on the market, right? But then something that we've always wanted to do was have an Airbnb because you can make good money off Airbnb. Bees. So we're like And that's how we made the decision to turn this place into an Airbnb. Airbnb. That's this guy's house. Hundred <laughs> percent. So as you can see we have Does this guy look like he likes her? I don't care. She might be, you know, the traditional idea of hot, but when you're an immature Dinkleberry, that's that's that ship sails. Like, you can be the oddest person in the world, but if you're a complete and utter disgusting person, you're the ugliest person to me. Like, that's that's that could just be me, and a lot of guys don't really care. But, like, if you're good looking and a douchebag, you're just, it's, there's, there's no, the looks are gone. Like, all these mommy vloggers, a lot of them are really good looking and all that kind of stuff, and I'll admit it. But, like, they're so gross that it, it completely detracts from any beauty they have because they're so ugly on the inside. Nobody likes an ugly inside person. If you're beautiful inside, I think that's like long term, like th that's longevity. That's me. I'm beauty on the inside. I might be balding fat guy in my mom's basement or whatever you guys think, but I'm beautiful on the inside. <laughs> and that's how we made the decision to turn this place into an Airbnb. Airbnb. So as you can see, we have furniture. a bunch of furniture from our house. Like this is the bed that was in don't, our don't bedroom. Don't care. Bedroom. Don't this care. We brought it here. So we're going to be airbnb this place. We're so excited. Guys, we're airbnb -ing. guys. Of course, you guys can stay here. You're just gonna, you know, you got a bucket bill. We came today because we got to start working on this place because it's no so. I, I need to go back. She said someone was acting a fool. He was acting the fool, and she kicked him out. That's exactly what happened. Sitting, we've had this place, and they need to have this so when he acts the fool again or whatever, because it sounds like she's the one that acts the fool. But then he gets mad, and then she gets mad and kicks him out. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like they're in an ab he's an abusive relationship, and she's the abuser. I'm not kidding. For like almost a year. No, uh, over a year. Over a year. He look at his eyes. Okay, this guy. You know, you know what I'm saying? You guys getting what I'm putting out there? Space cadet. Here? We bought it in October, didn't we? Bro, this is so bad. It's like, bad. It's so Bro. So bad. So here's a little room in front of the kitchen. All this furniture was in the warehouse, if you guys remember. Nope. Mm -hmm. This was in our other house. We just bought these. Um, this is going to be like a little lounge hangout area. I'm going to put like a foosball table in the middle and we're going to paint the You're going to put a foosball table where so no one can sit? Because a foosball table will take up the entire room. Moron walls we're gonna take this out and just make it somewhere like you can go have fun you know airbnb vibes um airbnb vibes i hate you we have the kitchen mm -hmm. we have dumb vibes i'm getting dumb vibes is that a vibe that we can have dumb vibes dumb have the living room we have some stuff here Put some plants over yes we, some, like, um, we can see that thanks i found this gumball machine at a thrift store a really long time ago and i'm like it'd be perfect to have here so why that is that this is a that's a that stuff there's blankets and there's things walls there's a window that's for looking out and stuff and there's a sink and just water and shit um dressers that we had at, at the other house mm -hmm. um and here we have so Christmas. Came over here. what what did you have in there <laughs> i was invested i made this a game room like a full man cave game room like video game thing that's because you're staying there buddy <laughs> oh my gosh these people are definitely together for money and I put like my gaming setup. And I, oh my and god, I, bro! This is what he does. Bro, you could do better, man. I was literally game here. <laughs> literally, bro. Well, this room's gonna be an extra bedroom, so you know people can stay here. This is all his stuff. We gotta. Oh, those are dope. Those nikes are dope. You gotta go through all this and see what you want. Imagine having so many shoes, you keep them at your Airbnb extra house. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Take what you don't want to take. Laundry over here. Over here we have a bedroom. We need to get rid of this bed right here because it's, it's king, way too big. It's way too big for the room. If it's for guests though, who cares? Nobody needs more room if you're just staying there like a hotel. Unfortunately. You guys know me. You know I love decorating and I, like, I just love it. So I'll You should decorate your soul with some kindness and goodness. That's what you should do. 
put a few of those in there. But something tells me she is nasty. Like we're talking Jess fam levels of nasty. I want to make this place somewhere so fun and like vibrant and like somewhere. You can no way she has friends. Hang out. And, like you look at the pictures on Airbnb and like you want to be here. Like so that's my guys. Question. So we're gonna go ahead and start like just doing as the much as we can room. so we can get this place up and running. I'll take some of them shoes. Gotta dance when there's music. Bro, you saw that, bro? She hits him all the time. Oh. F and put you to sleep real quick. Cool. Okay, if he really wanted to, no, he shouldn't. But he could just like push you into the closet and you'd be through the wall like a Marvel movie. She hits him all the time. I know they're just joking, but look, the, the behavior that you're seeing here, the exhibited, the exhibited behavior you're seeing is how she probably is to her children too, by the way. She is nasty. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Something tells me she got in a lot of fights in high school. This is dumb. Damn it! Stop! Stop! Ah! No! It won't stop the music! Come on! Okay, so oh, thank we God. We got all of Lewis's personal belongings out of here, so now. How long was Lewis there for? <laughs> Just like strictly Airbnb stuff, but we're gonna come back another day to do that. Because so you do, you just picked up some boxes. <laughs> These people are so lazy. Is decorating and doing everything to be like a full day thing. Step one is completed. So guys, now we're gonna go to those houses and go right there. Hi, go to Holy, is that the Rocks brother? Hey, what's up, bro? It looks like Moana, the guy from Moana. What's his name? The demigod. Well, here's Junie, and she's playing with her cousins. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but Gordo has two poodle mixes. We've had them for a while. Like, how long? How long have you had Rocky for, bro? I've had Rocky two bro. years. Now. <laughs> bro, I told you. I told you. I've had her for like six months. Yeah. So Rocky's the OG, and then he got her. That's a nice doggies, though. Her afterwards, he's a Labrador, and she's an Aussie doodle. So when we were debating like what dog to get, we like it was stop getting dogs. You can't even take care of your own damn children. Like a no-brainer for us because I already had seen Rocky. Rocky's uh, the Labrador that Gordo has for like he's had him for two years. And I've been around him a bunch, and I was like, I want to get a poodle mix because I knew that poodle mixes didn't shed, and I knew that they were really well. You got a poodle mix on your head there, bro. <laughs> well behaved and really, really smart dog. So when we went ahead and like started like looking for what puppy to get, it was like a no-brainer. This guy played football in high school, right? And only passed his classes because he played football in high school, right? Has never read a book in his entire life. His first car, F-150. Has a letter jacket that he wore in high school. Doesn't fit anymore, but he kept it. Called people nerds a lot. Avoids jury duty. Lists his education on Facebook as School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> Assumes everybody's the source of his problems when it's his wife. Definitely does not wear a seatbelt. Is blissfully unaware of how dumb he actually is. That's, that's kind of nice, to be honest. Terrible at Jenga. Just... <laughs> Lose like the first one. He doesn't. He's just bad at Jenga. He assumes you're insulting him because he doesn't actually understand what you said. <laughs> Yo, bro, are you insulting me? No, I. Was, could you pass the salt? He says things like, "Dude, bro, I swear it's not a pyramid scheme." <laughs> he does not know what cryptocurrency is. Definitely goes to a psychic. All right, let's get back to it. When we saw Junie, she was so cute. But that's why the like that's the real reason why we went with like a poodle mix. Alrighty, guys. We we're so bad. <laughs> so the reason we want to go to dog is that cut to your wife saying some shit, being the thirst trap. I keep hearing the term. What is a thirst trap? <laughs> Make sure I'm saying that right. What I think a thirst trap is is someone who like wants you to be thirsty for them, right? They're trapping you into being thirsty. A thirst trap is a type of social media post intended to entice viewers sexually. It refers to a viewer's thirst, a colloquialism likened to sexual frustration to de dehydration. Okay, so that's what I thought it was. So they're like, they're try she's trying to say like, look at me, look at me, look at me. Basically, yeah. We're home now and we're about to leave yet again. Penelope has a Christmas program, like a school play today, which I'm so excited because she's been practicing for like two months. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's the type of mom that goes to know of the other parents are like, don't talk to her. Don't be friends with her. Don't invite her out. Just avoid her at all costs. She probably fought half the moms that are kids school. Is it a school play or like Christmas carols? It's like a school play slash musical slash Christmas carol type vibes. Slash. It's like a school thing slash a kid's thing slash singing slash parents slash me slash thirst trap slash fake eyebrows slash I don't wear many clothing slash I prank my kids for money slash I'm a terrible person slash me slash like slash guys. You know, so um, Penelope has that. We're about to go leave. And yesterday the babies actually had theirs. You look cute right now. You look like a, like a Christmas cookie that I want to eat. Because I'm wearing a hat. Penelope has... Ew. Or something white, green, or red. And mm -hmm. they sent us like, a picture of the same exact color it has to be, so I was like nervous. And I was like, I don't think she has it. Like, it's like, like a guy is like, like, oh my gosh. Then, well, well, and you went shopping. And I didn't go shopping, I didn't have any time today. But you don't have time? What do you do? What do you do? What do you guys do? That you have no time to help your children for their school shit. What do you do? And she has this, by the way, all this clothes here is because Penelope had a photo shoot. A couple all of this clothes here, okay. All of these clothes here. You're welcome. Stay in school, everybody. Which I'm so excited. Very fire photo shoot. Um, it's for her, like, her little portfolio. But yeah, okay, so she's gonna wear... So you're gonna give your daughter a portfolio, obviously. This. She's gonna wear this skirt. Ooh, okay. She's gonna wear this green headband. Look at that! Oh, Christmas. Period! Christmas. She's gonna wear the Gucci's. Oh. Your kid has Gucci shoes. Oh, Christmas. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I have a cough. <laughs> I have a cough. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm a cop. laughs> Why do these people have followers? And she's going to wear these tights. Well, I don't know. Gucci bags. Yeah, because you wrote up your freaking shorts way too many times, I told you. Because I was doing a TikTok. I was doing like, a TikTok. Oh. Like a yeah, like that. Sorry, I just, it's involuntary. All right, guys, so that is the end of today's- I wonder if this guy realizes, too, that his kids are likely suffering from the pranks and the, you know, emotional trauma that they're experiencing from this. He, he seems like he's such a space kid that he doesn't actually realize it and, until some one of his friends or his mom or somebody in his circles probably hopefully tells him someday, hey, buddy, your wife is emotionally traumatizing your children. Can you tell her to stop? And then one day he'll be, he'll start waking up. Oh my gosh, when they're divorced and stuff, he'll be like, oh my God, can't believe I let her do that. And that is also the first vlog out of the 10. He, again, he doesn't go along with this shit and his hair's weird. That we are counting down to Christmas. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys are super, super excited. Guys, if you're not dead by now, you are Irish. And like you said, we're Yo, Adrian! <laughs> right? You guys getting that? The Rocky vibe? Terrible video. I hate these people. Our first foray into the Bramp Fam Plampty. The Brampty Pamps. The Brampty Pants. I'm gonna call them Brampty Pants. Just, just, just fam energy, 100%. Provocative in nature, and uh, her kids are gonna suffer in the end, so. Have fun, Brampty! Your kids are gonna hate you when they're older. She's so dumb that she tweeted this. Bramty tweets this the other day. There's been some reaction to a TikTok video I posted a few weeks ago. It's really not that deep. All my kids are loved, happy, and healthy. Oh, yeah? Well, there's at least two videos and plus more that we've seen that you traumatize them through pranks. Your kids might be loved, but your kids are exploited. I'm not saying you don't love your kids, but you love yourself more. And then someone writes, who Bramty retweeted, yes. If you, go to, if you go to other videos, you attend to each kid when they cry or need you. This was just a TikTok video and people just always have things to say. <laughs> you can't be serious. You help your kids in other videos. Oh, okay. And in other videos, she totally tears them apart and tears them to shreds, emotionally scares them and everything else. And then this guy, here it is. You don't have to watch. He, he posted it. Malcolm's gonna watch this nice video. You don't wanna listen? Right now, he's being very- You didn't wanna listen, dad says. Dick, dick hole dad says that. Very bad. So he's gonna watch this nice video. You're so YouTube, gross. You don't have to watch. You, t you told the other ones don't have to watch. They're doing this as a punishment. They're literally about to psychologically demolish their child as a punishment. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. The, da the dad just said, trust me. Trust me. Do you hear that? He just said, trust me. And this kid's about to be scared out of his pants. Trust me. So when the dad says that and then the kid gets traumatized, you can't trust dad anymore. 
Watch. You see that? I don't care. You just don't do this shit to your kids. And they did it as a punishment. Watch. Did you like that? Did you like that? No. Kid is crying and she's laughing at him. Laughing at him. Alright, Malcolm's gonna watch this nice video. No, no one responded to that one, though. Firstly, when their kids are crying, first thought to film it. And secondly, why intentionally provoke a reaction, any reaction from a child for views? People have a lot to say because anyone who intentionally inflicts discomfort on a child should be high, rightly called out. Amen. And then Frida, who's a dumbass, says, okay, parent how you want and let other parents how they choose. No, you're not allowed to parent your kids by abusing them. It's actually against the law. You cannot abuse children. You can't tell someone, okay, well, I want to abuse my kids. So you raise your kids how you're going to, but I'm going to abuse them. What kind of argument is that? I hope this Frida doesn't have kids. Frida, you're dumb and you should feel bad about being as dumb as you are. Please don't have parent to have kids. I would say she definitely babies them as she should for many of, oh my God. I'm into this now. I'm into the whole. What's more troubling than the video itself are bottom dwelling sociopaths coming out to defend obvious and clear cut abuse with a kid saying mommy stop and mommy doesn't stop then laughs. Only exception might be a medical emergency. This was all for social media and free day just doesn't get it. Glad you have opinions. Okay. The opinion being that you shouldn't abuse your kids. Okay. I'm not allowed to have that opinion or something. <laughs> Is that not an opinion that you share Frida to not abuse your kids? People chose to people chose to parent differently. You may not find it. Oh my God, abuse. <laughs> Dylan says abuse on video isn't an opinion or parenting style thing. I would agree with what you're saying about it being the moment, but she's defending her behavior and retweeting rationalizations like yours to a f after the fact. So clearly, it wasn't in the moment. She's a sociopath. Agreed. Frida, I'm just going to assume you're enjoying you enjoy seeing kids cry. Asking you to stop doing something to them, whether it's harmless or not, while you laugh your ass off, you know things can be fun until things escalate. And that's when you should probably stop and comfort them. Well, don't assume because the majority of the time you're wrong. Okay, I, I can't. She's stupid and she's dumb. Um, and she got, I pushed back. I said, not only do you exploit your kids for money, but you put their privacy online for all to see. You and others like you are not allowing your kids to have any dignity. You're the new problem. We used to get beat as kids and the new ways to exploit them for money. For shame. Hey, is it okay if I call Brampty trash, you guys? Is that fine? Are her fans going to come for me? She's not trash. She's the trashiest. She's 10 times trashier than Maya Knight. She makes Maya Knight look like Pokeroo. You remember Pokeroo? That's what she makes her look like. The neck, too, though. That's the thing. I love this. Juliana, Juliana Bonilla writes this. And this, again, this is the idea that tra it's the trash tribe. You attract people that are like-minded. And someone of them says, y'all are pressed. First of all, if you say ever in your life have ever said this phrase, y'all are pressed, I disregard everything you say after that. I think you're dumb. Y'all are pressed for what she is, the mom, not y'all. It's water. He's not hurt. He's fine and happy. Yeah. And she laughs at comments like this. Him wondering as an adult why he hates spray bottles when getting a haircut. And then LMAO, emotional damage in quotes. She's, and she, again, she, know, like, she's being called out on it and doubling down on her assholery. I'm glad we got to see that. Someone called her out on Twitter. She's being called out and being ratioed right now, for sure. I'm not sure it's level of cancellation or anything like that, but at least some people are going to start waking up to it. I, it brought my attention. I hope other people cover this. She's disgusting. And he is a pushover Dinkleberry who just lets her do this. He is just as complicit, whatever his name is, you know, over tanned Rocky. He's just as bad. And the fact that he's dumb makes it worse because he can't even see that his kids are being emotionally. And then when he said, trust me, Ooh, so Brampty, what her, I guess her name is Brampty. I don't even, I, that's her name. That's a weird name, but he is just as bad. So gross family. And I'm going to continue to cover them. They are nasty. Everybody take a deep breath. You're not nasty. You're beautiful kind and valuable. Don't you forget it. I'll see you tomorrow.